higher order chromatin folding if we see this diagram dna is approximately 2 nanometer in diameter that is present between two nucleosomes this is nucleosome 1 and this is nucleosome 2 the diameter of the dna is 2 nanometer after the formation of the nucleosome when the dna is wrapped around the eight molecules of the histones the diameter of the nucleosome becomes approximately 11 or 10 nanometer these nucleosomes they after packing or joining with each other they form the chromatin fiber that chromatin fiber is 30 nanometer in diameter so if we see the diameter of the chromosome is 2 nanometer after the formation of the nucleosomes its diameter becomes 11 nanometer and after the joining of the nucleosomes with each other the diameter becomes 30 nanometer here is another pictorial view of the nucleosomes dna that is wrapped around the um, histone molecules and its diameter is shown as 10 nanometer and the h1 histone molecule that have put a knot once the dna is wrapped around the eight molecules of the histones so the diameter of one nucleosome is either 10 nanometer or it can be 11 nanometer but after joining with each other the diameter of the nucleosomes becomes 30 nanometer once the 30 nanometer chromatin fiber is produced that chromatin fiber this is actually the 30 nanometer chromatin fiber which was formed by joining the nucleosomes with each other once that chromatin fiber is produced that chromatin fibers forms the chromosome scaffolds they join with each other and there are the loops of this chromatin fiber these are called loops and these loops they are called as uh, chromosome scaffolds so this is the second level of the packaging but if we see in detail that how dna is converted into the chromosomes there are different levels of the packaging of the chromosomes this is the first level where we can see that diameter of the dna is 2 nanometer this is the first level of the packaging where nucleosomes are formed then these nucleosomes they are placed in the same vicinity and they form 30 nanometer diameter once nucleosomes they are packed with each other they form the fibers and this fiber forms the scaffolds so these are the scaffolds which are 300 nanometer these scaffolds ultimately after cond uh, uh, condensed form they are converted into the shape of the chromosome from this diagram we can say that there are different levels of the folding of the dna dna is converted into the nucleosomes then nucleosomes they are placed in the same vicinity and they form the scaffolds and ultimately joining the scaffolds they are converted into a specialized structure that specialized structure is called as chromosomes this is the second diagram which also describes the folding and unfolding of the dna and the formation of the chromosomes chromosomes they are approximately 
1400 nanometer while here are the scaffolds these are the scaffolds which are 700 nanometer then ultimately nucleosomes which are 30 nanometer in diameter and a single nucleosome has 11 nanometer diameter while the diameter of the DNA is 2 nanometer. So we can conclude that nucleosomes by coiling and by folding they ultimately is converted into the specialized structures those specialized structures are called as chromosomes which are present in the nuclei of the eukaryotic cells or in the nucleoid region of the prokaryotic cells.